Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keel, and today we are talking about uh, the club from Miami called Treehouse. Um, this is an article from the Miami New Times. They're talking about opening up this weekend, um, and it's a lot of ums. Like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to parse my words because Google and YouTube, they're super strict about what you're allowed to say on YouTube. And so I want to talk about this subject, and I think it's important. I, like, honestly, we, we have to talk about this stuff. But I also don't want to get demonetized or have the video blocked or whatever, because I've had videos talking about the beer thing, which is why I call it the beer thing instead of the real name. Uh, YouTube is very strict with this. And I prefer more people talk about it and can see it than not. So (laughs) it's hard talking about this stuff without getting into the political politics of it. Because for people who are not in America right now, they're about to go through an election. And it is just chaos and craziness down here. And everything is political. Doesn't matter what it is. Everything. The most benign thing puppies puppies is political right now and everybody has strong feelings one way or about it and i don't really care about that well i do care about it uh but for this is about djs and the music industry and entertainment as a whole and that's what i primarily want to keep the youtube channel about so i don't want to pick sides or say one side is doing something that's right or wrong this is about the industry for djs and having topics around this subject because honestly people don't want to talk about it i i think one of the few channels that actually talk about this as for djs not as a technical thing but as people in the industry as we talk to each other like what the hell is going on right now uh, i don't think there's a lot of people that even want to talk about they're just basically they've either tuned out or they're just like you know mask (laughs) Treehouse is opening up in Miami, and they've made a lot of changes to it. So the governor for Florida has basically said, you know what, we're just going to take our chances with this thing here. Uh, Not necessarily to that degree, but he's like, you know what, we're we're humans, we'll figure this thing out. I'm not going to get to politics. (laughs) It's not a politics video. He's basically said, we're going to open up, the business is going to open up. But they make guidelines for places that gather and that kind of stuff. So we're talking restaurants, bars, clubs, concerts, that kind of thing. This club can open up with 50% capacity. And they've said they're going to have stations to wash your hands all over the place. Everybody has to wear a mask inside. And it's more of a lounge now instead of a club. Realistically, people are going to go to it just because. Like people are tired of just staying in their house. Like they want to get out. Like people are getting antsy right now and they're trying to get out, which is good for DJs, bad for, I almost said it, <laughs> bad for the beer thing. Um, we're, we're at this point where everybody's getting restless. And uh, I think governments really need to decide the best way forward to kind of appease everybody and cover all bases because. Staying locked down in your house, not an option. Not an option. A lot of people can't make money sitting in their house and waiting for the government to save you. That's not an option either. And I'm not going to get political. This is not a political video. I'm just saying this is what's happening. Personally, I believe that we're getting to the point now where we got to figure this thing out sooner than later. Um, our back is kind of against the wall for everybody in the entertainment industry. And most of us aren't getting bailed out. <laughs> Everybody's dipping into their savings. If they have their savings, people are moving back home with their moms. Like this is crazy town right now. Uh, so people are going to make some tough decisions and figure out what to do. So they've opened up 50% capacity. They spaced out the tables. They made it more of a restaurant type vibe or a lounge type vibe. They have, sanitizers spaced out all over the place they kind of reopened october 2nd and there's a battle between the mayors uh local government local government officials and venues clubs bars anywhere where people gather 
there's a back and forth going on right now. So even if the governor or the mayor, if you're in Canada, the premier, they've all said like, yeah, this is fine, whatever. Local governments, like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and so there's this back and forth between the sides trying to battle for position and trying to figure this thing out. I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers. I'm just going to say, you know, this, is, this is what's happening. All right. And, and, you know, this is going to be a, a small view video based on the topics, but I'm fine with that. Like, look, we need to have these topics. People need to talk about this stuff. For the DJs who want to stay home, what is your option? Leave, honestly, leave a comment below. If you're going to stay home and no one's going to gather together, how are you going to pay your bills? For the DJs who want to open up and <laughs> you're running out of funds and you're running out of options, how are you going to open up and keep it safe where we don't have everybody get infected overnight. You know, I don't, I don't have the answers, right? <laughs> I don't have, and this is why I want to talk about this stuff because people aren't talking about it. There, people are sitting at home on their couch eating Cheetos and just waiting this thing out. And I'm, I'm from the firm belief that you can't wait it out. I don't know how. So, I'm I'm not trying to pretend like, well, you just got to do this. And, oh, it's not a big deal, whatever. I've been saying this thing is a big deal for the longest time. But people cannot pay their bills. People are starting to go, you know, they're losing their houses. Like, they're, November 1st is a, another deadline where they've been trying to extend people paying their rent and that kind of stuff. And no, November 1st is going to be big deadline when rent is due i mean if you got bills how are you going to tell people like no i'm not going to do that i'm just going to chill at home like i don't <laughs> this is why we have to have these talks all right this is why this this is the only reason and i don't want to push people one side or the other and i'm not going to be like well don't take these things these don't work and this and that or orange guy is bad like i'm not i'm not here with this all right politics aside this is not, we're at a situation where people have to have a serious discussion about are risk worth it? Are you comfortable doing this? Are you not comfortable doing this? And I read the comic session and my videos, and whenever I make videos like this, some people got strong opinions, and that's cool. And you're welcome to, to put your opinions down there. And the people who have other strong opinions, they, I welcome that too. I don't want fighting in between each other, but I welcome people having dialogue about this stuff because we're not, and we have not been realistic about what is going on as far as economy goes. We cannot print money to pay everybody to stay home. Not realistic. See, I don't want to get into the the recoveries and drugs and so I don't want to get into all that stuff. Like I don't want to get into that. But from a fiscal standpoint, it is illogical to shut down half of your country and then have the government pay you to to live at home. Uh because the government can't afford to make you live at home. Inflation's gonna happen. We're gonna have I took economics in college, right? <laughs> uh People, people are thinking about the microeconomics and not the macroeconomics. There's big problems for countries that are saying everybody stay home, like big problems. And they're on the horizon. And short term, we're like, okay, we can do this. We're going to pay for this, whatever, whatever. Long term, we were thinking about complete shifts to society for what counts as what people do in their daily lives, how people live, how people make money, the gig economy, these kind of things that have gone from obscurity to the forefront. I, I, I got to dance about words, man. This is annoying. I should probably put a podcast on and just say F it and say what I think. But, Leon, honest, let me know what you guys think if you want to mind me have a, 
a podcast like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, peace out. <laughs>